He said, if there is one thing I like and I love so much, it's representing my country. What else can I say? I am a full-born, breaded Nigerian. And I'm proud to say it any time. What we have done here today, I don't think I need to speak so much because what we've done here today is speaking for itself. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome and thank every one of you for being here today. I want to especially thank the judges, the sponsors. Without you, there would have been no Miss Nigerian Island 2009. Out of your little finance, with the economic meltdown, you still could give your little because of your love and belief in celebrating who we are. Once again, thank you very much. And I want to thank the contestant. It takes a lot of guts to want to stand up here and do what you've been doing. A lot of girls called me and said, I would have loved to do it, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm prepared enough. I will do it next year. But you came out. People probably told you not to do it but you were convinced within yourself that you could do it. And you are here. So congratulations. What is, when we say, when we say you are a winner, what is being a winner? First and foremost, you have to be a winner within your heart, within yourself. And I believe that's what you have, you know, done today. But I also want to tell you, the reason I'm standing here now, apart, apart from coming here to thank everybody that came, is because of you contestants. In another five or ten minutes, we will have a Miss Nigerian Island 2009. But what I want to say is this, that being a Miss Nigerian Island, being a queen, I think is a matter of being an ambassador to your people, a role model. You should come out to serve your community. It is not just the glamour that you wear clothes or you go to parties and shake hands with big people and you think you've arrived, that's not the thing. It is serving the community. The only reason why these people are here is because they want to elect a role model. And you should know that without the community here, you won't be here as a queen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to thank every one of you for coming here tonight. In moving forward, it's time for prizes. We just said the, in five or ten minutes we have Miss Nigerian Island 2009. But then there are other prizes. In the course of being in the boot camp for the past four days, these girls, they've been together in the boot camp. And then they've come here tonight to demonstrate who they are. It is not just the queen alone that wins a prize in a contest like this. So we are giving prizes to people who have a say in different ways. We will start with the best talent. These contestants today, they all demonstrated different talents. And I want to say the person that we have chosen as the best talent today, who has demonstrated the best talent is contestant number five. And then we have the best traditional. The best traditional is contestant number two. Congratulations. So how are you doing? Are you okay? Thank you very much. And then we have the best evening wear. She is the person of contestant. Contestant number four. Congratulations. At the boot camp. That is where the next prize is normally given. Miss 
congeniality. And she is the person of contestant number three. Congratulations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that it's time to know the winners of Miss Nigerian Island 2009. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you very much. All right.